Hey, this is Tim, and today I'll be showing you how to do an event countdown and add that to your signature line. And uh, by when we're done, it should end up looking something like this. Uh, you'll be able to change the top line, the center line, and of course the countdown itself. You'll also be able to change the background, you'll be able to change the colors, you can add borders, you can do a custom, uh, a couple custom features. Uh, to do this, we're going to need to create an event, and there's a great website to be able to do this. It is called timeanddate.com, so we're going to go to timeanddate.com. See here on timeanddate.com, on their home page, you can see the different tabs. Coming over to the apps and it looks like APL tab, uh, it's the purple tab. I'm going to go down to free countdown. Free countdown timer for your website. This top part right here, we don't need to read much about this. Uh, just know that there's no registration needed. Uh, there is no downloading, um, no fee, and it's a free service. It's a good service. Our first change is probably going to be in this location area. Select location clock should show time for. This is where the event is going to be hosted, not where you are. So you see right here it says location. In my case, I'm going to be creating an event for the Central Florida Koi Show down in Orlando. Uh, I'm over here in Pensacola, Florida, which is actually is a different time zone. But we'll go to search here. Type in Orlando. Now, in this case, it is already their system is already pre-populated with uh, some cities and states and countries, and Orlando is already pre-populated in there. So we're just going to hit select. Uh, if you don't um, find your city in here, it really is not that big of a deal. Find a city that's in the same uh, time zone you're at because that's basically what this is, is the time zone location. And if you need to change the time zone, you can simply come on the time zones and find your time zone to the left, make your selection, and uh, select to confirm. So, uh, that step is done. We're going to be moving to select the date and time to count down to. And our event's going to be in March. It'll be March uh, 9th, so we're going to go month. Uh, it'll be three. And notice if you click on there, uh, if you type in a number, it's going to pull up their drop down menu. You'll have to click on their drop down menu. So, once you try to type in a number, it'll, it'll pull down the menu for you. So, we're going to click on March. 9th, 2013 is already there. The hour, the minutes, and the seconds don't really matter unless you're trying to get down to a time, uh, very time specific, like the birth of a child or something, where you knew the exact time and you wanted to count down to the exact time. Other than that, you can just leave that blank, and it will start uh, in the a.m. the at the first minute of the the day that you're looking uh, for the event. Configure countdown timer design right here. Uh, you have three choices. You can either have it uh, all as a, a one-line, two-liner, or a multi-liner. I prefer the look of the two-liner, so that's what I'll be going with. So click on that. For this background flash theme, if you use their flash themes, these are your choices right here. If you use one of their flash themes, at the bottom right of your event clock, you'll see their uh, timeanddate.com logo. So some people find that annoying, some people don't. Uh, in my case, I'm not using it. So we'll just not do anything for the background flash themes. And most of the times, you're not going to be doing anything. You can, however, change the color if you want. And uh, by the way, I don't know if you can see it or not. We'll move this over a little bit. But over here to the bottom right, you'll see your event uh, as it's being made so kind of keep looking over there and you can see the changes as they come along but uh, for now we're going to change the background color see this box uh, bring it down right here see this box right here if you roll your cursor over that transparent box in the center and click on it that'll pull up the colors 
So, in my case, instead of being transparent, we're going to turn this to a nice little blue. And you can see my box down at the bottom right has turned blue as well. And uh, you can change your text rows, how many rows you want. Um, I'm using two header lines and the counter. You can change the uh, type of font. You can change the font size. You can also change the font color. Uh, the countdown timer <coughs> number customization is right here. This right here, as you can see, is just uh, different ways of breaking down the counter and uh, different ways of rounding it off. And uh, it does have like a daylight savings time feature in here and some other stuff you really don't need to even worry about. Uh, most of the time you're going to skip this whole section right here. Now, customization for when time has not yet passed. This is what we're going to be entering our event into. The uh, top header text, you can see right over here to the left, um, and it shows right now time left to event. Now we're just going to highlight that, just get rid of that, and we can type in our event. So the event we're, I'm looking for is the Central Florida Koi Show, so we'll type that in. Now the middle header text will be your middle row. I'm going to put the city and the day, which is Orlando. Now, the customization for when time has passed. This is after the event has uh, come, and, come and gone. You can still have the countdown clock say something and do something. It'll continue. So say that if you quit smoking and you quit on a certain date and you wanted to see uh, how many days it was past that date, uh, that would be the clock. So this will count up to the event, then it will count down, or vice versa. Not going to be doing anything here. Uh, you can change the border if you want. It says right here, display border. No border, common border. Um, now, here's, uh, and you can see it's, it's made the changes down here to the bottom, to the bottom uh, right there, so you can see this is what it's going to be looking like. Now, here's the important part. This green box, show HTML for countdown timer. Click on that. Now, that has pulled up the HTML code. What we're going to be doing is taking this code, copying it, and putting it into a link uh, op uh, option in whatever form, whatever site you're on. So, real simple to do. Below the link is going to say copy to clipboard. I'm going to click on that. And of course, uh, do you want to allow this web page to access your clipboard? Yep, we do. And we can just Hold the cursor over the blue area here and right click. That'll copy. Now we're going back to the pond form. And we're going to go over here to the top right is going to be settings. Click on settings. You can see over here to the left of our screen, in your settings page, it's going to have My Settings. And in the box that says My Settings is going to be Edit Signature. And you see I've highlighted it. It's in yellow right now. Let's see if we can see that on the screen. Yep. So we're going to click on the Edit Signature. Now I've already had mine in here, so we're going to... Just simply back that out right there so I can show you how to do this. Uh, you should have an open text field right here so you can do whatever you want with it. And what we're going to be doing is this earth right here is the link button. And then here's your unlink. And I'm going to get my cursor and circle it here for a second so you can see it. 
and uh, so when you click on the link it's going to link whatever you have copied so we're just going to simply click on that and we're going to paste the URL code and hit OK now from here a couple things we want to do is see right here where it says HTTP we're gonna actually backspace that out all we want is we want it to begin with the left sign right there at frame I don't know if you can see that real simple though Yeah, you can see you can see it and we're going to preview the signature and there you go that's what it will look like now what I'm going to do is add some things here add a little smiley face here guy drinking wine something whatever your favorite alcoholic beverage is or it could be grape juice you choose and we'll do the cool dude walking oops got it on the wrong side there I don't know we got the cool dude walking <clears throat> so that's going to be our signature and we're going to save the signature and we'll come up here and see what it looks like and there you have it there's our signature so should take you about 10 minutes to do this. Once you get familiar with it, it's really easy. Hope you enjoy.